Welcome back everyone, Mariah Monetize here and in today's video I am going to be going over a recent experience I had with Vault where I needed to reach out to customer service. I'm going to be telling you how fast they resolved that problem, exactly what the problem was. I'm also going to be discussing today why I trust Vault, okay? This is not a sponsored video. I'm just using Vault because I had someone that I trust recommend the platform to me. And after digging a little bit deeper, I realized that this is a better opportunity than some of the other crypto trading platforms. I also saw some of your comments in my recent video basically saying like, how could you be recommending a website without telling us why you trust it? So I've talked about Vols a couple of times now. The first time I'm pretty sure that I mentioned about uh, Vols basically being a, uh, having a partnership with Coinbase. So Coinbase Ventures, have they have invested in Vault, and I also know that Peter Thiel is uh, someone who has invested $25 million in Vault. So um, with those pieces of information, I basically have gained trust in the platform. But at the end of the day, I will say this over and over again in a lot of my videos, not your keys, not your coins. So there's a risk in every single one of these platforms because you do not hold the private keys to your cryptocurrency. So it's a risk. And some people don't even think that gaining 6% APY on their cryptocurrency is worth the risk with someone else owning their coin. So something that you should absolutely always take into consideration. And I always preach about spreading your risk amongst multiple sites. That's why I use Nexo, BlockFi, Vaults, Celsius. And if you want to support my channel in any way, I have those links down below. So I'm going to be telling you about what happened. In my previous video, I told you that I had moved over 13.76 Ethereum from my BlockFi account over to my Vault account. Why is that? That's because BlockFi was basically paying me 5% APY and uh, Vault is going to be paying me a bit more than that. So let's go ahead and uh, quickly take a look at Vault's interest rates here. And what happens is I'm going to go be locking up my Ethereum here for 30 days. I'm going to be getting 6.7%. So that's why I moved my Vault, uh, excuse me, my Ethereum over to Vault. So here was the thing. I received this email from BlockFi stating, your withdrawal request has been completed. Please see the transaction details below. One thing you should know is that when you want to take your funds off of BlockFi, it can take one to two days. I sent in this request, as you can see here, on the 16th, January 16th, and I did not receive my funds until the 18th. But after seeing this email saying that my funds had been transferred, I was a little bit confused because my Vault account did not reflect that, okay? It actually just had the XRP in my account, which that is not my XRP, I'm holding it for someone else. But what I noticed was that I had actually uh, not seen the Ethereum in my account. There was a zero balance. And so I was patient and I waited, but then about a day went by and I'm like, okay, something here is not right. And I got concerned um, because after a day, it should definitely go through. And so at first I was literally terrified that I entered the wrong uh, address, the wrong Ethereum address. But what you can actually do on BlockFi is that when you click on this little arrow down, you could see here, some of you might actually not know this, you can see the trans, there's a basically the destination of the wallet. So I double checked that this address matched the address on my Vault account to send Ethereum. So I'm like, okay, I double checked the address, everything looks good. I thought maybe I maybe missed a digit or a letter. You can actually click on transaction hash. So this is etherscan.io. And you could see here that this is the hash and you can see that the status was a success that it, it said it went through. Um, it shows you that it was confirmed within 30 seconds. The timestamp, you know, they give you the timestamp and everything of exactly when that transaction happened. And so, you know, you could see here the price of Ethereum at the time, you could see here the transaction fee um, and all of those things, uh, which is actually interesting here. You can see here the transaction fee for the network is 0 0.01, but for some reason, when I look over here, you can see that BlockFi charged me 0 0.015. So it looks like, from what I understand, BlockFi is actually getting a cut of that withdrawal fee. 
which is interesting. I don't fully understand fees and how they're calculated when it comes to cryptocurrency, but that's kind of skeptical to me, right? BlockFi sell me 0 0.015, and then on Etherscan, I'm seeing 0 0.010. So, ah, interesting. I think, uh, think BlockFi is getting a little bit of a chunk there. They're, they're making money on withdrawal fees, which is kind of disappointing if, if I'm getting that correctly. Okay, so I'm like, what the heck? It says success. It says the transaction went through. I put in the right destination wallet address. Why is it not reflecting? So I had to reach out to customer support. Many of you always ask me what my experiences has experiences have been like on the other websites and reaching out to customer support. Celsius has been quite responsive. I've never had to deal with Nexo uh, support. Um, I don't think I've had to deal with BlockFi support, but very quickly I had to reach out to Vault and uh, ask for some help. So this is what we have going on over here when it comes to Vault and the customer support. So um, it's first automatic, you know, I click that I need help with crypto transfers. Um, then basically uh, they just give you like different, you know, squares at the bottom, different words on trying to get you to solve your problem. I told them that I had an issue with Ethereum. They told me to share the transaction hash. I accidentally did the address first and then I resent and I did the address. So finally, after I think about 20 minutes or so, a real person came on and um, basically I, she said she was looking into it. She asked me what was the amount of Ethereum that I deposited. I told her 13.76. Should it need to be reprocessed? I said, how long should it take? And within a few minutes, she said, it should be already reflecting on your account. I refreshed my, refreshed the page and it reflected. I don't know why this happened. I don't know if this is a common thing, but I was pretty happy with the customer service. I did have to wait that 20 minutes for a real person to come on. But once I got her on, basically, if it was a he, a she, I think it was a she, she solved my problem rather quickly. So that was the good news there. Now you can see here that the 13.76 is reflected on my account. And uh, I wanted to see here if by any chance they uh, give me more information. I wanted to see if it was like timestamped or whatever, but... Like I said, if you want to try Vault, this has been my experience so far. I just want to share with you every single step of the way so you have a good idea, right? Um, some people, I usually just sign up for an account and I try it out myself, but some people want to see someone else. Um, thank you to the 96 of you how, who have already signed up. This is what's cool about Vault is that if you like the Vault platform, you could share it with your friends. You get 40% of their trading fees under their pro trading, 5% of the interest paid out on their assets, 5% of the interest uh, accrued, on their loans. You can see here, 96 people have signed up. So basically, you don't get any free amount of cryptocurrency when you sign up. That's not how Vault works. But when you use my link, then I get a bit of a percentage of the transactions that you make. You can see here, I have earned a total of $1.40. Today, I broke the $1 mark uh, when it comes to Vault. You know, my YouTube channel, just to give you guys, just to be transparent, my YouTube channel doesn't really make much money from Google AdSense, from the ads that are ran um, on my channel where the true money is made when you have a YouTube channel is by referral links. So that's one way um, that I'm able to monetize my channel. So, um, oh, you know, at the end of this video, I'm also going to tell you guys a really funny story um, on, you know, how uh, Brooke and I, you guys here in all my other videos, how we uh, basically had a business idea that we tried and it turned out good in the first 24 hours. So, um, like I said, I trust Vold because of Peter Thiel, I trust Peter Thiel, I trust his uh, VC firm, um, I trust Coinbase Ventures on the decisions that they make because I know that they have a very intense due diligence. And because of those two major investments involved, I am quite confident in the platform. So, you know, this is what's really funny. When it comes to um, Puerto Rico and living in Puerto Rico, see, lately there's been this group of people out, because many of you have... Um, Many of you watch my videos because of the Puerto Rico based stuff. And so there's this very small but loud. And when I say small, it's like 10 people, it feels like, that like do these little protests. And they protest Act 20, Act 22, Act 60. Um, they think that we're invading their country. They think that we're colonizers. You know, they don't understand that Act 60 actually has a bunch of tax incentives under it. And Puerto Ricans can actually participate 
and many of the tax advantages here in Puerto Rico. So it actually benefits Puerto Ricans as well. But, you know, they just automatically, you know, hate the rich, kill the rich, all that kind of stuff. I see kill the rich spray painted everywhere. A few blocks from my house, I saw like ban Act 22 and then someone spray painted under it, cry about it. And they put these posters of like Jojo Fletcher and Jordan Rogers and um Brock Pierce basically saying they're like colonizers or whatever and uh, that's <laughs> my face might be on those posters one day but anyways Puerto Rico the whole point of my story is Puerto Rico has massive massive opportunity for everyone everywhere I turn in Puerto Rico I see uh gaps that can be filled I see op endless opportunity in my opinion Puerto Rico has absolutely endless opportunity and here's a good example how I got a 100 percent return on my investment within 24 hours. Okay, so my business partner, Brooke and I, she's the one that I have the car rental business with, and you've seen her in some of my day, like my vlog videos. So basically, we go to Ikea and we buy these big mirrors that we wanted to put in our room. So we both get the mirror. I'm like, I'm gonna, you know, and she's like, oh, we should spray paint them. So she spray painted hers black, I spray painted mine gold. And then I was like, don't they, doesn't like a black mirror like that, like cost like three or $400 and, or she may have mentioned that we were kind of just talking about how we basically turned this $120 mirror into something that is like hard to find around here. And when you do find it, it's like four, $500. So we ran an experiment and I was like, I wonder if I posted it on Facebook marketplace, how much we could sell this mirror for. And so we, I post a few pictures. We, this is like, in the afternoon, this is like noon. By four o'clock, we basically, so the mirror was $120 before tax. After tax, plus the spray paint and the plastic and the tape and the supplies that we use, we were about $150 in on this mirror, okay? And then I posted on Facebook Marketplace for $400. Someone offered me like 250 and then we agreed at like 300. So we basically took $150 investment and within 24 hours, we picked up the mirror, we taped it, we spray painted it, we posted it on Facebook Marketplace and sold it within 24 hours and made 100% return, 150 bucks into 300. I understand that $150 is just like whatever. But what I've been having so much fun doing is just trying these different things, trying these different experiments, trying different ways to make money. And in that moment, I realized these people that are like, being victims in a corner and just crying about rich people moving here. Like they basically are saying, oh, your dream of living in Puerto Rico is our nightmare. And they're just like so dramatic and such victims. It's like, get your head out of your victim corner and see that this place has massive opportunity. I used a free website to post it. I only took $150. I was able to flip that to three. We were able to flip that to $300. And then it's like, now you have $300. Like, how are you going to make that grow next? And it's just so frustrating that uh, people don't see the opportunity that Porter, like all the opportunities. This place is just overfilled with opportunities. I have visited many places, even the town that I'm from in California. Like the amount of opportunities here in Puerto Rico is amazing, number one. And number two, the free ways to market whatever um, product or service you had is endless. I have spent zero dollars on marketing when it comes to um, our car rental business. We use a free Facebook group called Puerto Rico Travelers. We post the cars in there. We use YouTube, a free way to uh, advertise the vehicles. And it's just, you know, word of mouth, friends, people that rent our vehicles, they want to come back for a second one. I'm going to go ahead and put a link um, down below if you want to rent one of our vehicles, just reach out to us on Facebook with the dates and the times that you're interested and I will go ahead and respond to you with what we have available. So this is just a reminder to be creative and that there are endless opportunities when it comes to making money, okay? I have what I have today in crypto because I spent 16 hours a day entering sweepstakes to win free cars, cash, electronics, free gas for years, just about anything that you could possibly think of. So this is, this is your opportunity. Get out there, be creative, find something that you enjoy doing and see if you can make a profit. So hope you have an amazing day. That is all that I have for you today. As always, go out there and create a portfolio 
that you love.